I've got six boats at home. I've got this. We've paddled around Hawaii in a two-person kayak. Oh my God, look at that one. I run a boat rental company. I get it. Well, there's anything left. What does that one say? We felt like we might have hit something. Oh my God. <laughs> After spending our last night in the BVI with Ben and Maria, Allie and I spent the following day traveling to St. John where we would spend the final three days of our vacation. No, but there's definitely not a, there's no upstairs on this ferry. Right. And it could be completely full. Well, it's going to be completely full. Uh, I mean, we have packed it. We could open the window. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. I don't think we want to do that. Oh, well, that's true. <laughs> and I got it all confused. But we are rocking up this one. And what's funny is we paid for the Smith Ferry. No, we paid for the Road Town Ferry, but we're on the Smith Ferry. So it's a little confusing, but it's only one terminal and they throw your bags on here and you hope your bags make it. Don't put anything fragile in there. Hopefully no. the laptop is okay. Made it. And uh, so anything you want to like not be broken, put in your personal bag. Even the mat is tight. So, we've got an hour long ferry ride, so here we go. We first had to take a ferry from Roadtown back to Charlotte Amelie on St. Thomas in order to clear customs, and then board another ferry to take us back over to St. John. Getting for customs. We are now going to take this ferry, which is hopefully smoother than. on this cool ferry, this catamaran. We're actually on this guy here. Oh my goodness. I'm not scared at all. Maybe where there's some air? I don't know. I'm assuming it's not gonna get wet. There's our luggage. Unfortunately, the video doesn't fully capture how rough the ride was to St. John. If you look, you can briefly see the rocking on the horizon out the starboard side of the ferry. For Allie, we couldn't pull into Cruise Bay soon enough. a nice change from being in a little bit of a cramped boat this is our room resort at Grand Bay Resort we rent it on VRBO it's got a full kitchen little area you can sit let's see fairly large bathroom oh yeah all the amenities we missed out on those it does have a washer dryer not that I'm gonna do laundry on my last three days here nice king-size bed Wow and look at this view holy moly it comes with beach chairs snorkel noodles and there's the beach that's pretty cool I think this will work this will work just perfect alrighty Let's unwind. Oh, you got that right. Before turning in for the evening, after a long day of travel, we headed to the north end of town to Mongoose Junction to enjoy dinner at one of our favorite restaurants, 1864. The name refers to its location's longitude and latitude coordinates.
Good morning from Cruise Bay, St. John. Today we have rented a Zodiac dinghy. We're gonna head out that direction, right? Yep. And uh, we've got a trusty little map here of where we're gonna go. And the plan is, I'll show you, is we are here at Cruise Bay and we're gonna rent a Zodiac. And last time we made it up to Keneal Bay yeah. because when we came around this corner it was a little rough in a 12-foot dinghy but with the Zodiac we should make it all the way to Mahaho Bay which apparently is where all of the turtles are so that is the plan today and it looks pretty nice out there right now we pick up our dinghy which is one of those right over there it's a Zodiac how's your orange juice um, it's terrible because of pineapple juice. Oh, so how's your pineapple juice? Pineapple juice is good. So are you... It would be um, better with Prosecco, but... Let me see what your cup says. Are you living the dream? Starting to. Oh, these are delicious. Thank you. Just picked up our sandwiches right there. What'd you get? A couple of croissants and um, banana muffin. Yep, I just stepped Should in. be good for lunch. Hot water, there we go. Wherever we happen to stop. Okay. As a reminder to be cautious and avoid hazards, the boat rental company displayed the many destroyed props in the confident quotes of the captains prior to taking the boats out for the day. I've got six boats at home. I've got this. We've paddled around Hawaii in a two-person kayak. Oh my god, look at that one. I run a boat rental company, I get it. Oh, there's not anything left. What does that one say? We felt like we might have hit something. Oh my god. <laughs> I live here, Bob. Different than the dinghy before, because with the dinghies we could come to shore. Right. This cannot come to shore. It's a so basic... we'll be mooring out kind of like, like they are over here. And so we have to find a mooring ball to uh, spend the day. And then there is a swim ladder on the back of it. And so we'll have to make sure that both of us can be able to climb back in the boat. Mm -hmm. um, we are allowed to go all the way around the island, which we're not. We're going to still just explore the North Shore. North Shore, yep. And uh, well, hopefully we'll still see some turtles. Yeah, and yeah. Sea life. Yeah. So it's just a little, it's the opposite. With the dinghy you can only go so far and it wasn't very comfortable, but you could go to the beach. With the Zodiac you can go anywhere you want, but you can't go to the beach. So right. this will be interesting. We'll see what happens. Always an adventure. Beach, which is right here and as you can hear it's pretty windy and as you can see by the water and there's also a riptide warning today but the idea was is that there are lots of turtles to go swimming with challenge we have we can't go to shore because we're in a larger boat and this little miniature ladder, we can't, we're, we're too old and large to use that tiny ladder to get in and out. Last thing you want to do is not be able to get back in your boat. So I think we're just going to enjoy this blustery day. <laughs> Check out a few more beaches, but... Yep, you know, can't beat Mother Nature. She's going to do what she's going to do. Yeah. No, I don't even know if they'd be good snorkeling when it's this choppy. Yeah, hard to say. It would be the same as Monkey Point, I think. Yeah. Murky. This is Keneal Beach and the Keneal Beach Resort that we were at last year. Be sure and check out that video. So we've hooked up to yet another buoy. 
spring ball. But as you can see, it is just not a super comfortable day. Well, how do you like this boat? Oh, let's talk about that since we aren't going swimming. <laughs> uh, the Zodiac is a nice little cruiser. I mean, there's a couple things I would change about it, but I mean, just for the day. It's got, good, it's got a good spot to grab your hands here. Yeah, good hand holds. I would like to have a back on the, on the captain's seat. Uh, a couple times I tried leaning back and almost fell. But otherwise, there's good storage on the boat. Um, it definitely needs a better swim ladder. Um, it's just it's one foot wide, but literally. One, you can only put one foot. One, 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 not one 12 inches, but one human foot wide, um, width wise. And uh, and not very long, so you and there's really not a good place to pull yourself up. Yeah, there's one the handle water. there. Can't really so, grab the engine. No, you can't grab the engine, and you'd have to be mostly out of the water before you can get to the handhold anyway. But otherwise, it does come with a Garmin. Comes with a Garmin. No depth finder. No depth finder, but um, good charts, and uh, it's a comfortable ride. And they give you this little map for us. Yep. The only thing is they didn't give us a hook. Yeah, no hook, so we really didn't have to lean over to grab the ball. Um, if there is a hook on the boat, they didn't tell us where it is. So, not sure. We haven't gone through all the storage equipment, so maybe there is This is one. all storage. That's empty. That's empty. The boat anchor, um, the storage locker is up forward of that, and that probably had the chain um, in it. I don't think... I looked under here, this is safety gear, that is battery and electrical, and I don't know, I think that's storage, but I don't know what's under that one. And there's no oars, so they said if, No oars, if not something, that I think you could really successfully... Or this thing? Uh, yeah, well, throw it would be pretty hard to row. And what's so. that in the corner, is that a... 12 volt? 12 volt? I don't know if it's regular, yeah, 12, yep, 12, regular 12 volt. Okay, pretty no simple. Radio. It would be nice to have a, a radio on it. Oh yeah. Um, not VHF, well, VHF radio would be nice, as well as a, um, just a regular stereo. Well, when this comes on, it tells you your speed, your gas. Oh, yeah, that's right, that's, it. that's your dashboard. That's your dashboard. That's right. Okay. It's just off right now. Well, thank you for the tour, Scott. It wasn't long before the squall started to release on us. We quickly ate our lunch in the rain and made our way back to our condo, just in time for the rains to come for the rest of the afternoon downtown and as you can see it's pouring <laughs> at least we made it in I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow tomorrow is an 80% chance rain not really even a way to explore so if anything we relax do you remember where we're going yeah we gotta go straight just like around the mini mark so if you are expecting St. John to be super fancy. It's not. It's a very laid back, almost, what do we call it? Like a beachy vibe. Oh, yeah. Um, roads are a little rough. <laughs> but the people are. Oh, yeah, let me flip this around. When I say the roads are a little bit rough, I mean, they are rough. <laughs> and so you typically walk on the side of the road. But there's a two-way traffic, so then you quickly jump up on this thing. Let the guys pass. And then you jump back in what part of the road you can. <laughs> and you just make do. During the day, there's tons of chickens. You were asking where the chickens probably are. They're probably all in here at night. So normally during the day, we go down there. That's kind of where a lot of the shops are, the center. But we found a cute little restaurant called Dave and Jerry's. I think no, so Dave and Jerry's or Jerry and Dave's Steakhouse. Yeah, I don't know if it's a cute restaurant, but it's a fancy restaurant. It's supposed to be highly recommended, and we've been stopping at this little mini mart every night for things like coffee, water. So that's nice. So up around this corner should be our restaurant. Yeah. Okay, safe to go yet? Uh, no, there comes another one. But we just got to go right there. But more cars are coming. Do we just kind of okay, go. go for it? Yep. Go ahead and get up to the next driveway. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? 
careful it should be interesting taking our luggage through here tomorrow yeah because <laughs> we don't have a we don't have a driver so we're gonna try and I guess go to the same place for breakfast there's yeah. not a lot of breakfast places in St. John no um, we just had another squall I think it's gonna be like that all day yeah a little squally Waiting in the same spot as last year. Just say hello. Yeah. Well, it's good to see you again. Oh, you're going to go in there. Ugh, I wouldn't go in there. There's the big ferry that we're going to take tomorrow. Because I refuse to get on the other ferry. I don't know why Allie doesn't want to ride on this ferry. Well, okay, it looks you can put your fishing pole in off the back end. The other one's an actual ferry. That thing Catch a mahi mahi. That's a ferry. There's people on top. There's seats inside. Hey, it's 20 minutes of your life. If I survive. Can't be any worse than it is today. You ready to go home? No. Are you ever? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we have a lot of things that are going on personally, so I'm excited to get home and get get, get going. Yeah, this is uh, the, I, I don't, I feel like um, the timetable is speeding up now. Yeah. So, we'll tell you all about that in future episodes. Yep, we'll tell you all about that. Uh, it was great to unwind again. I highly recommend unwinding after a bear boat charter. Yes. You're going to need that. Um, unfortunately for us, we didn't have the best weather, but it was still great to just unwind. One thing I'll tell you about, uh, again, this is our second time to St. John. It's not huge. So if you are expecting, you know, a thousand restaurants and it's not that no, kind it's of a, place. It's, come, it's laid it's back. Laid you come here to relax. And, and we had some great meals uh, at all of the three restaurants that we had. Um, great drinks. Um, super friendly. I mean, just super friendly. Absolutely. Everybody. So uh, it's been a great three-day stay. Um, we are taking the main ferry, what we call main ferry, back, uh, which takes us to Red Hook, not Red Charlotte, Hook. Emily. Only because I just feel safer in that bigger. I'm sure the other ferry is fine, but it reminds me of a giant fishing boat. So I'm going to be on a regular ferry. And then we just have to take a cab to the airport. Yep. So it's a long flight home. It's about 15 hours from yep, beginning from to end. And we get in about 4 a.m. our time here. So midnight. And then I go to work tomorrow. Yeah. So. Looking forward to that. Glad I don't have to go into an office. <laughs> Unlike some people. Yeah. Anyway, well, we, we hope you enjoyed coming along with us yep. on this journey. Absolutely. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. You should leave your comments down below. Uh, more importantly, subscribe and yep. ring the bell Hit for that notifications. Button. See you next time.